So Eric, of, save us. Well, no, look, look. I think it's hilarious that we got to the point where we're talking about transgender gulag look at your room. inmates. <laughs> yeah, that's his bedroom, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you like the uh, propaganda graveyard back here? Um, He's actually just sitting on his bed. That's where your position <laughs> is here. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Would you let him Gat get through his statement? No, look. Gavin Newsom. I'm just going to take a hard left turn right now because we're talking about <laughs> transgenders and, and gulags. That Gavin Newsom is now putting transgender women, a.k.a. men, into prisons. They, they've tested positive for HIV, and now they're giving out condoms to the inmates in a women's prison. Think of, that's, how, that's where we're at right now. Is that they're Welcome to Canada, out. Eric. Condoms in a women's prison to prevent pregnancy because they are letting men into the women's prison now. Hey, 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 hey. Let them hey. fuck. Hey, men can get pregnant too. Okay. That's true. Get it out you, with that transphobic talk. But you know what's what's also weird about this is that not there there's been three hundred men who have requested to go to women's prison, and not one woman has requested to go to the men's prison. Shocking. Not one. Yeah. You know, in Canada, for a long time, this has been going on, and there is actually a guy, we'll call him a trans woman, who is in a prison in British Columbia, and he requested, she, they requested, because um, Twitter, you're not allowed to, you know, misgender people. Um, naming. Yes, exactly. Uh, took the prison to the Human Rights Tribunal, which is a thing in Canada where you can complain about your human rights being violated because they refused to send them off site to get laser hair removal. So they said, all you're getting is razors and shaving cream like the rest of the women in this prison. And this person tr tried to take them to Human Rights Tribunal because they thought their rights were being violated um, by not being granted off-site laser hair removal. And on top of that, they were complaining they weren't getting halal dinners, which is, sounds like a joke, <laughs> but it's actually what happened. 